Senior Vice President of the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry, or BCCI, Edward Clark, says the Chamber would like to see swift implementation of the measures agreed to by the Social Partnership in the Barbados Sustainable Recovery Plan. He says given the challenges currently facing the country, it is an important step in putting Barbados on a path of success. We are very happy to hear that this has gone to Cabinet and we understand that there will be further development in the very near future in this regard. We do believe there are a lot of low-hanging fruit that can easily be handled without any delay. Mr. Clark adds the Chamber remains hopeful the necessary recovery can eventually be achieved. Despite the challenges that our country faces, we at the Barbados Chamber of Commerce and Industry are positive that Barbados can recover from its current situation. We however believe that the difficult decisions must be taken by the government without any further delay, and even more importantly, that the corrective measures be implemented with the urgency required to rectify the current situation. Barbadian bosses have been placing greater emphasis on safety in the workplace in recent years. This is according to the head of a local health and safety company. Managing Director of Pinnacle Safety Solutions, Beverly Rouse, says she has noticed a change since 2010, but she's found that young men in the construction sector are still likely to engage in risky behaviour on the job. And there are lots of women within the sector, and that was particularly borne out with the Massey project that I managed um, recently. There were quite a few women working there, and it was lovely to see. Um, and they were working in an extremely safe manner, didn't have any challenges with them. The young boys, on the other hand, um, risky behaviour and lots of chat and all the rest of it. So you have to try and win their trust, earn their trust. And that's really what um, Safety and Health is about here in Barbados, is earning the trust of people. Once you've earned the trust, then it makes your job that much easier. Ms. also speaking on the sidelines of a safety workshop hosted by the Barbados Contractors Association. She says they, there are a variety of reasons why workplace accidents occur. Safety. They'll say things like, I've always done it like this and nothing's ever happened, or somebody taught me how to do it, and that's fine. So in terms of the, the, the combination of things that we need to actually look at, and that's providing the um, framework for people to work in a safer way. That's about giving them the education, empowering them to work in a safer way. And then once we've done that, we build on that because we spend a lot of time looking in the rear view mirror and reporting things that have already happened. What we need to be doing is reporting on things that we're going to be doing. Well, let's take a look now at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region. We get started in Jamaica where cable and wireless Jamaica Limited was the volume leader with 11,351,768 units and they were followed by Wisinko Group Limited and Carreras Limited. In Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited was the volume leader with 96,007 shares changing hands for a value of $2,576,828.80. They were followed by Guardian Holdings Limited and Trinidad Cement Limited. And in Barbados, Sagicor Financial Corporation Limited was the volume leader, trading 4,302 shares at $2.15 each. And they were followed by First Caribbean International Bank and Banks Holdings Limited. 